What's up, boys and gerbils? Uh, you may have seen something like this, potassium iodide or potassium iodate, KI or KIO3. And uh, this is huge in the prepper community because everybody's worried about warheads on foreheads and stuff like that. You know, what if Vladimir Putin gets froggy or, you know, North Korea or whatever, insert nation state here. This is for use in case of emergency. You do not need to be taking this like right now in case the nukes fall. You have approximately a four hour window after irradiation uh, for you to be able to take this and you should prioritize women and children first. They're the most susceptible. Uh, if you're allergic to this, which you should find out about before the warhead falls on your forehead, you can have an allergic reaction to it. Your um, salivary glands can actually swell up. That's pretty terrible. Um, in a, a, a extreme cases, acute anaphylaxis can occur. That's not cool either. Uh, but you got four hours to take this. So don't take it now. Take it after the bombs have gone off. And then I would recommend that you uh, download the dosage from the FDA because depending on your body weight and your age, there's different dosages for this. And while the FDA has at times been otherwise uh, untrustworthy, the dosage for this stuff seems to work. Of course, it's also discussed on the back of the bottle, but don't just be playing with potassium iodide or potassium iodate. It's for, uh, in case of emergency use only, not North Korea released a statement on Twitter that I don't feel good about. I guess I'm gonna pop some potassium negative. This is in case of emergency only.